And we begin with that tragedy striking that family again. First, their nine year old daughter was murdered in February, and then in the last two months, the family of Arlene Alvarez has become victims of two more crimes. And tonight, Fox 26 is Natalie. He is joining us live from Houston Police Department headquarters with an exclusive interview with the family tonight. Natalie. Jonathan, that's right. The family says that someone stole their truck from their driveway overnight that led police on a chase. They believe it was the same suspect who broke into their house two months ago and stole their keys. They anticipated that same man would one day return. I don't know how to react. I don't even know how we're standing strong, you know. Wendy and Armando Alvarez are wondering when their family will catch a break. In February, their nine year old daughter Arlene was killed when a robbery victim mistook their car for the perpetrator and shot at them. Then in August, their house was broken into and ransacked. I realized that he took one of my keys. I, I kind of knew he was going to come back. Armando installed GPS in his truck as a safeguard. Two months passes by and the Alvarez family thought they could maybe let their guard down again. But around 1.40 a.m. Wednesday, surveillance video captures the suspect hopping the fence into their yard and taking off with the family's truck. They're getting us in our most vulnerable stage and that is really messed up because this person had to have a lot of courage to break into our house again. Not one time, but twice. Houston police were alerted and pursued the thief from southeast Houston to the 5000 block of Sweet Chestnut Lane in Spring, where they eventually arrested the man around 2.20 a.m. Running on foot and hide, ended up hiding in a retention pond where our canine units were able to track him. I'm an electrician. So your car, it's not just stealing your car, it's stealing your livelihood yeah, in a yes. way. It's mm -hmm. what I feed my family. It was a blessing in disguise that we had the GPS, but what if he would have killed us and then taken the truck? Then what? Then the city is going to start reacting. Then the judges are going to start taking reactions. That's not it. I'm so frustrated with everything that's going on. I'm so mad. I'm so pissed off that these criminals get more justice than us, you know? Now, Armando tells us he did end up getting his truck back this morning, but the family does worry that that suspect was not working alone. HBD does tell us that a 25 year old suspect has been detained, but so far they have not officially released his name because charges are still pending. In downtown Houston, Natalie He, Fox 26 News.